Hey guys and girls, this is Thomas with Poor Man Racing. We're going to start this water pump wire up. Really simple, quick, easy. Stole a couple of connect uh, splices from work. Going to be able to do this, show you real quick, real simple. Try to get us the best clear image we can with this. All I need are some cutters and splice. And That's going to be all we need for this job. We'll be good to go. If we find a piece of box like this without it falling over. Alright, if you see, I got them right here. Did this for testing. We know it works. Go straighten these out. This is my power wire. Couple barrel crimps make it easy to work. What's really nice with these and this crimper, color coded, only unlocks when it's fully compressed. Get it where you want it. Barely click it, holds it in place. We're gonna slip it through. Put the crimp in. We're gonna have to cut it down a little bit just to make it fit. Let me get my cutters. And if you see, these will crimp really well to where nothing will pull it out. And that's it. Really simple to do, really easy to use. Best investment I've made so far when it comes to the truck. And if you want to use to use the other side, you just spin them 180 degrees, get it to where the wire slips in, and the same thing, one click. Oh, before we do that, good call, I caught myself or we would have been cutting it, redoing it. Got to put a heat shrink on it. All you need is one. You want to cover it, no problem. Seal it up, no water, no dirt gets in it. Slip it over the side we have not crimped yet. Alright, here we go. We're going to slip it in. Make sure the wire bottoms out. Clamp it down. Pops right off, we're good to go. With that, you got it. Slip it straight over. Take a lighter or a heat gun, either one, torch, whatever you want. We'll actually heat this up and melt it down really well. I do not have my heat gun here, so I'm going to use a lighter. Keep fanning it real quick. We're slowly melting it down. The yellow and the blue will actually start to push out to make it to where nothing can get in. See how it's shrinking down. We're moving quickly. There we go. And we will not have a problem with that at all. All right, I gotta find my ground wire that I had. Here we go. My ground wire actually goes onto the block for my fan. I'm just going to probably splice in. If I want to put it back on the block, I don't know. Let's take a quick look. 
I was testing out different rate uh, alternator brackets, seeing which one I like, trying to get it to where it sits perfectly fine. This one will not work with this water pump. The only thing I'm trying to do is figure out where I absolutely want to put put this. I could splice in and jump in, which may be the actual idea I'm going to go with. Keeps it out of the way. And yeah, we're going to cut it. This grounding wire, which I have enough of this wire at work. I could just grab some if I need some. Cutter strippers all in one. Pulls it right off. We're going to twist these two together. Put them in this yellow barrel. Make it to where we can splice both of them, no problem. Cut the excess off to about where I need it. Right about there. Trying to fight these tiny barrels out. It's a little bit of a pain at times. But we get these back how we needed them. Slip them in and over. We got a little bit sticking out. We can just trim that off here in a second. We just want as much in there as possible. Finish it up. Get my crimp again. Slip it in a color coded one that it needs to be in which is yellow. And we're going to squeeze it down again. Alright, since we got that, we're going to shave off a little excess because we know we have both wires in there completely good. All it is is a ground wire. Whatever contact we get is really all we need as long as we're making a solid contact, solid ground. And it's only three to four wires on this anyways and each one that we just cut off so we still have a good connection in there both of them are chunked to each other I'm gonna strip this down again real quick and there we go we're gonna put another one of these sleeves on Slip it over. <sighs> Remember, we're going to do a 180 with the crimps so that way our previous crimp that we just did is on the opposite side. Got that. I got the first cramp click on it so that way to hold it we're going to shove this in this side and crimp that's literally it that's all we need to do I'm going to get my 9 16 fold again so that way we have a grounding point show you guys that this actually works You see we're grounded there. We have not shrunk this down. I'm just going to slide it over for right now. I'll get back to that here in a second to make sure we're not going to have any problems with that. I'm just going to test it out show you guys it works. So as we look at this, what, not even five, six minute job just to wire up an electric water pump and get in. Hit our on switch. We have power on if you see bolts. Go in. 
to our ignition. We have everything else going to hit the water pump. When I get out, we go up to the front. Sorry about the mess. My shed's a little full. You can hear that this water pump is actually spinning now. So, $300 water pump I got off of a friend. I was able to get for 50 bucks. All I have to do is flip the switch off, shrink it down. We are good to go. And that's going to be it for this install on a water pump. The electrical portion of it is completely done. The the hands-on install portion was done three or four days after I got the water pump trying to make sure it fit. I need to figure out an alternator bracket now and that would be about it besides the fans. Well. I want to thank you guys for watching and that'd be it.